We're doing this great demo for Complete Streets, Walk Bike, Northampton. We've been looking at a lot of designs, we've been having a number of public meetings with our consultants, um, but to actually see some of these things set up in Main Street, I think hopefully will give people a good idea about what some of these techniques could look like um, if we decided to implement them. This is part of a Complete Streets initiative, which is to recognize that our streets are not just for cars, they're for everyone. I think one of the important things about, uh, about the experiment today with the, the Complete Street and the parklets and, and where it might go in the future is um, how people uh, react to it, of course. Um, and I think it'll be interesting to see what the feedback is from people throughout the day. You start out with this wild west atmosphere, you know, there, there are no lanes. It's always been a little confusing and uh, sometimes dangerous. I usually avoid it if I can because it's just so wide open, the traffic's going every which way and there's pedestrians and cars backing out and they can't see. It was made for like horses and carriages and trolley cars and all kinds of things that aren't here anymore. So why not make the wide road a little wider for things that are here, like bicycles and pedestrians? People may get upset at not having those two lanes so that it's going to be harder to back out and you'll have to wait, but waiting is great for the pedestrians. This crosswalk in particular is one of the longest crosswalks in Northampton um, and it's also on a curve. Uh, so it can make it pretty challenging, both for cars and for pedestrians. It's a long way across to uh, assume that everybody's going to behave themselves and be alert. So actually the other thing about this setup is, it strikes me, is that it um, shortens the crossing. And short crossings are better for people who move more slowly. It's really interesting to see the possibilities of sort of bumping out the curb and creating this little park. The setting for the parklets is really interesting because that's people using the space in a completely different way uh, than, you know, just to get around. We already have places to sit, like the benches, but these are places to really gather and it gives a feeling of home to being right in our, the middle of our downtown. Right over here, we've got this uh, protected cycle uh, cycle lane um, for bikes. What's cool about this as a test is it's about making it better, easier to bike downtown. Having a bike path through Main Street would definitely ease the transition and make it make me have to think less about coming down here. It's just you ride the bike the whole way and you don't have to think twice. You just stay in the bike path and you feel safe and you don't have to stress about the kids and then you're downtown. Um, I've already heard people this morning saying, oh, let's just make that bike lane permanent. This is awesome. The bike lane question is always going to be tricky on these uh, very busy streets, uh, but I, I, I do think that uh, there are some sensible things that can be done to make it a little bit safer. Part of this is actually a health initiative, um, and part of it is to try to promote healthier uh, transportation. A large majority of our population lives within a mile of, of downtown, um, so to the extent that we can make it more accessible uh, by means other than uh, cars, um, I think that's all to the good. People need to be more physically active. It just makes you healthier. And people won't get out and walk if there's not a place that's pleasant and safe and inviting to them and that's why it makes a huge difference. Obviously, the path to, to health in aging is, is activity, and the more that activity can be built into daily life, the better. You know, for fitness and for, and for transportation needs, um, you know, bicycles are really important because of the uh, less pollution and less space and 
just how, think how long this road would last with light vehicles on it versus you know the really heavy one with people speeding out like that. So experiments like this are extremely important. On the surface, they seem like uh, they're almost frivolous sometimes. Oh, wow, you know, for a day, they change the street, you know, and, and put in you know, a few plants and some chairs. And, you know, maybe that doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you experience it, it changes your whole orientation, your notion of, of what the street could be, you know, what the space could be. And it's experiments like this that lead to investments in the future of places. Um, that change, change those places and make them more you know, human-oriented, more livable. This is just such a, a fun project and hopefully it will really get people talking about what we can do.